Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to split the video and how to delete a part of the video with Filmora 11. Okay, so I know that this is not a new tutorial. By the way, I have just upgraded to the latest version of the software, which is Filmora 11.3.9, and I can see I can see the change in the splitting tools uh, of the software. So I'm going to show you how to do that and also show you how to yeah, just change some reference to get the, the same thing that you have in in previous Filmora 11 or Filmora 10, okay? Let's go to my computer screen. And being mentioned that if you want to purchase Filmora 11, I still have a 20% discount coupon code for lifetime license. I will put the link in the description for you to Yes, just go go to the description, click the link, and follow the instruction in the post to get 20% discount, okay? So here is my computer screen, and for example, I have a clip here on the timeline, and this is my GoPro footage, and this is one of my vlogs. Uh, by the way, I'm going to mute the audio. So the first thing, I can uh, see the change in the split tools. For example, uh, previously, if you want to move the playhead on the timeline, you need to click at the playhead, and also need to click here on the timeline. But now in the latest version of the software, if you click any any empty space on the timeline, it will move the playhead to that position. For example, it will be like this. And I think, yeah, this is a, not a good idea to, to move the playhead on the timeline because sometimes we just want to select an empty space and then we select uh, something on the timeline, not just moving the playhead because it is annoying for me. Okay, so if I want to, you know, to disable this function, all I need to do is to select the file here, menu, at the menu, and select reference. And then I'm going to select editing. So at the editing tab, we have a button here uh, with a playhead. So you can click the blank jump at the playhead position. Now we can uncheck this box to disable that function. And for me, it's stupid. Okay. And let's click OK. And now it's, uh, it is OK. If we click anything on the timeline, any empty space, uh, the playhead is still still there. It will not move anymore. OK? So in order to split the video in Filmora 11, all you need to do is to put, put the playhead at the position you want to split. For example, here, at the beginning of my clip, uh, all I need to do is to select the clip. And then I can click this button to split the clip. Uh, this is uh, one way. The other way is to just put the playhead at the position you want to split. And then you can use a shortcut to split the clip. Uh, the shortcut is Control B on your Windows and Command B on your Mac OS. Okay, so that is how to split the clip. And the next thing, if you want to delete a part of the clip, for example, if you want to delete this part on the timeline, all you need to do is to select it and then you can press the delete button. By the way, it will have an empty space here. So I see another change uh, in Filmora 11.3 and 0.9. Uh, there's no, no close gap option anymore right here. Uh, for example, if you right click at this empty space, now you cannot see the close gap option. By the way, they have a new button here. The new button on the right side of the, the empty space is the close button. So this is the close gap button. Okay, just click here to close the gap. And I think that's easy. And, and this new function is okay. And you can also close this empty gap by selecting the clip, uh, both clip on the timeline, and then you can right click, and you have the close gap, a close gap option here. Okay, so you can still close the close the gap right here. All right, so let's Control Z. So now, if you want to close the gap, all you need to do is to click this button. Okay, and there is another option. It is uh, auto ripple. So this is a function that let the software automatically delete the empty gaps when you delete a part of the video. Uh, so this is the button, okay? So you just want to enable this one, the auto report option. Just click here to enable it. And now if you delete something, it will automatically delete the empty gaps. For example, I can cut here and then I can press the delete button. It will, yes, it will automatically delete the empty gaps here on the timeline. Okay, but for many people, this uh, auto repo button is a, a little bit annoying. So if you want to get it off that function, you want to disable it. Okay, so that's everything you want to know. How to split the clip and how to delete a part of the clip uh, in Filmora 11. 
I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. So if you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.